yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me Fall on YouTube channel. You guys may notice our charge pipe is missing. That is because James has begun on putting the blow-off valve on it. This morning, one of the guys from Induction Performance dropped off the flange and the blow-off valve for us. So James just started. Oh, yeah, he's doing a good job. James is spearheading the operation on installing the flange for the blow-off valve onto our charge pipe. And here she is. We got her in race car red. This thing's going to be sitting on there, and that'll let air out when we let off the gas. And, you know, there's a bunch of boost in this pipe. It'll let the boost escape so we don't have a surging turbo. You don't have to have these, but it is right to run them. So we already have our vacuum lines set up and everything. Once this thing is on here, we're going right on the dyno. Yee doggy, well guys, we just got it warmed up. You can see there's smoke coming off there. James is doing his WD-40 trick to turn the pipes gold. And you're just in love with this thing now. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> we got the uh, blow valve on there. We think it's working correctly, so we won't really know until we're making, you know, 30 pounds of boost on 25 pounds of boost we were making like 870 and now with a bigger turbo theoretically we should be able to go all the way up to a thousand which i'd like to see today on the dyno if we're feeling comfortable just got to get on there and see what we can do look at your welds all shined up with I some wd man, on. i know i know they're looking good your welds are looking good too man i'm excited to see what ruby version 2.0 turbo kit can do from mcfarland fabrications just got to get on the dyno do some first gear pulls and Man, when we throw this thing in second gear today, it's gonna be making steam. And you'll see Leroy over here in the background. He is getting his new oil pan today. So Leroy and Ruby will have the same oil pans. That pan worked great on Ruby, so we hopped on some racing. Got another one on the way. We'll have it here today. Throw that pan on Leroy, and then we're heading to the track tonight. So we put a smaller wastegate spring in it just to start things off today, and we're gonna see how much boost it builds on the trans brake real quick. Probably gonna rip. It made nine pounds. Took a lot longer too. It took significantly longer. We're gonna have to use timing to, to get it up. Yeah. But it, it made nine pounds. Nine That's pounds. the spring we have in it. That's true. Pretty That's good. good. That's good. Time. Are you ready to make some power? Ready to have a full pull. Oh yeah, yeah, you're wearing your full pull shirt today. Let me see. Let me see. <laughs> Show it off. Can't get these anymore, but whew. I got me one before they we were gone. I have to release a V2. <laughs> Damn, all right. It is time to rip it. Your old turbo there. That thing uh needs something to get on that two-step. That thing was like, ah. yeah, was like uh, 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 that you get when you got a small mortar with a big turbo i know we did already pull timing out of it but what we can do is use timing and timing, different methods timing to, and fuel to have a little yeah. extra pop and get it spun up it's gonna be tricky though it's, it's uh it's something i've never done before but we can certainly figure it out there's always nitrous too yeah well psh, psh. Yeah, there's always nitrous and then we can always use the the trans brake button to initiate like an advanced timing table within yeah. the holly and it'll It'll, it'll get up on it. It'll get rowdy. It'll make it happen. <laughs> Plus, we got the bump box, you know, so get up on it, no matter how long it takes. And then, dun, 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 dun. Are those genuine hey, 7 Eleven You know the deal. Y'all thought we were done at just hot dogs. Well, brother, we got 7 Eleven Monterey Jack Chicken Taquitos in here now. Oh, that's a tight fit. It's tight. It's tight. That one's actually jammed grew, up. Hold up. I grew up. We're going to have to keep a tight eye on these. Spray them with a little WD. They'll slide against you each other really nice. WD on here? I mean, whatever. Once they heat up, I time. think. You think two at a time would be the trick? Yeah. I'll put them back center. Yeah. You know what? It might be the way that... No, that they're the wrong way. Yeah, yeah. roll the tortilla over. I think they're getting jammed up on the tortilla. On the tortilla? They're taquitos. No, look. You can see yeah, where see, like a lip. Yeah, see, you got to have the lip that way. Let's space them back down there. All right. 
make sure you touch every square inch of every one. Looks like we're doing two at a time here, boys. Wait a second. Our hold, the, hold these taquitos, James. Oh my James. goodness. Our hot dog roller needs a booster pump. Oh, wow. Hold on. Okay, that was aggressive. That was bold. Hold on. That was bold. There's a mathematical solution hold for this on. problem. <laughs> we're gonna figure this out, boys. Three at a time and half. We're gonna get this puppy tuned up. All right, let me get that booster Still one. Pump. There we go. Look Dude, at them all. There's still a whole taquito. Yeah. You could have done this Look, without breaking them in half up. if you okay, were just well, cooking three. James, you're going to have to eat this one whole. <laughs> I'll put they're, it back in the They're pre-cooked. Put it back in the plastic. <laughs> that would make way too much sense. Just drop you're it in just, the fridge. You're just going to throw a taquito in the fridge, no plastic. <laughs> <laughs> all righty, folks. The so last time we were on the dyno, we made 878 horsepower. That was on like 25 pounds of boost. Let's do what we can do here. First pull. We're gonna be in first gear. This is a second gear pull too, so I can't, I hope it doesn't make anywhere near that. I hope it makes less. What if it makes more? I don't know. That sounds lame. <laughs> Who says that? I know it sounds lame. Who says that? The For the first pull, we wanted to just, you know, chill out. We just wanted to be nice and gentle. Oh my gosh. <laughs> nice easy pull. Just wanted to go nice and smooth. Yeah, so I don't want it to be too fast, fast, guys. Nice and slow, you know. I'm ready, baby. You ready? Oh yeah. to uh, try second gear pull here so we can the data in first is just so short is wrap so we're gonna have to go into second gear with the bigger turbo we can see on the graph like once that turbo starts it's like lazy lazy then the turbo comes in it just instantly wants to make power
five on that one. Well, last finish, you can see where it just made, made 600 and it stayed there. It's being kind of touchy. That was only 14 pounds of boost, but I turned it down significantly thinking you I, I turned it down too much, but let it cool off, go back of ice, and I'll turn it back up to where it should be. I've got a, a grip on the boost controller settings with the different turbos, so turn it back up to where I think 20 pounds would be and do a full pull. Well, that's a good sign though that a big change shows a big change with yeah, the boost it's, controller. Yeah, it's definitely you know? working really good. It's gonna be a second gear full pull. Full pull! Let it cool off for a minute, and then we're, we're gonna make a thousand horsepower pull and be done. You getting ready to do some fabricating on this? Yeah, gotta add some uh, oil drains for old yeah. Leroy and his new pan. As you guys know, Leroy's old pan had oil drains right here. We're adding them onto the new pan, and I'm actually gonna put the link below. So if you guys want to get one of these pans, this really is an F-body pan, but it works well on the Corvettes as we've found. 
So I'll put the summit link below. Man, you're take welding like crazy out here. Yeah, so taking gotta, these streets, you know. Yeah, taking these you know streets. The so otherwise, once that's done, the drains are on, it just bolts right up, and then we got to yeah, put our... Yeah, we got the uh, new pickup tube and windage tray put on the motor. Yeah. James already got the pickup tube and windage tray in there, so things are looking right. This thing's going to be a ripper. We'll probably give it a degree, and then just maybe like a pound or two of boost. Where Where James tampered we with the plug. We went from, on that one, we went from... Uh, what 829 or something 830 yeah, all the way to up like 100 horsepower 100 horsepower gain 120 <laughs> yeah oh well dang brother that you thing like, fits up there real nice like a new bones dude Please. look at how much deeper this pan is yeah it's a whole lot more deeper oh like yeah this whole dude. area so we're gonna have more oil on board and we're gonna have a deeper uh, pickup tube so we should be able to Get over our issues of, you know, evacuating the whole pan on a seven second pass. James welded on the drains, did a great job with that. Looking good. I mean, you really been TIG welding the last couple days. Yeah. But we gotta go get some fittings from Gearhead and we'll have this thing ready to hop in the trailer. Da, 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 da. Do this. Body ready. Picked up not only peak but all over. Dude, oh my god. I was sitting Start. here and I like I hit the brake and it wasn't stopping. So I had to go manually select it off of there. It's I always on like the most important run, something like that happens. So you just, start to panic with the button over here, like hitting it and stuff. Like, I'm like, this, no, did it freeze? I was like, if this thing doesn't give us a number, I'm gonna be pissed. But like Jeremy said, with the harmonics of a big pole like that, it's freaking me out because the dyno still says it's dead rich. But yeah. this I have like lean for what I'd be comfortable with on like Leroy. But I think that O2 reads rich and that one reads lean. So I don't know, but I think we have a good balance because it's making such good power. Dad, look. Looky there, buddy. All right. Thousand all right, and one. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, 12 degrees of timing. I don't know, this says it's dead rich and that is pretty lean. It's like 12.2 to one. Wouldn't you think that's kind of lean? It sounds it, but if my wide band is giving you another yeah, Did you kind of that's why I'm kind of in too, between. Though? I pulled fuel out earlier and it kind of lost like 10 horsepower, so I put it just right back. Okay. I've left and it air there. Air temperature was kind of... Air temp's been good, yeah. We've been air icing it and stuff, okay. so... All right, so we were looking up here uh, with this guy right here. Yeah, so with that, this drop-off. That looks like that. So, well, what I was going to ask you is I'm only at 12 degrees of timing. I, I want to add some timing to one last pull see if it picks up. Okay. Um, if you're going to do that, let's look at this real quick here. So... Before, we were theorizing about the back pressure right there, yep. and that would be really high cylinder pressure, really high UGTs, whatever. If you add some, let's add it just on that half. Okay, so, so like probably 6,500 and less. Right, so we have a constant that you're gonna be able to say, hey look, if it picks up there, that we know we did something good, um, you know. Okay, all right. Figure it out. But that's, that's we're, we're gonna give it one, one last one rip. One more pull, one last rip. Half degree timing or full degree? I'd do a degree. Oh man, James like I approve.
15 horsepower. It didn't blow up. <laughs> That's a fact. Hey, we are out here. How's the oil pressure? It's good, dude. Perfect. Like, whenever Jeremy comes around, I get all the confidence to like add a degree. It's funny because Jeremy's usually like, ah, oh, I just leave it or. Dude, I don't know what it is, but when I'm by myself, I'm like half degree, half degree, half degree. And then you show up, I'm like two degrees. <laughs> Actually, that was a full degree through certain ranges, but uh, we picked up about 18 horsepower, but we do still have that back pressure dip up top, so. It's pretty fun. I freaking love tuning, man. It's so fun. And the head gasket stayed in it. Even though your peak to peak isn't like huge, yeah. I think this is legit. Now this right here, definitely, you got into it earlier. No I got into it way earlier, yeah. But I would say somewhere between here and here should still be legit. Yeah, picking up 20, 30 horse yeah. that degree. Yeah. Woo! Oh, okay. it's pretty awesome. Dude, it's sick. In your first thousand horsepower car. <laughs> well, it's like my first. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, you said it. It's yeah, my first thousand horsepower tune without like much, your full much, babysitting. Pretty you much know? solo. Pretty much solo stuff. So. All right, guys, we'll end it off there. Ruby's now a thousand plus horsepower car, thousand and nineteen. We're gonna take her to the track tonight. Everything's running good. Everything's looking good. We got Cletus and cars on Saturday. Are you getting Uncle Sam ready? We're trying right now. We're trying, trying right, right now. now. So should be running by the end of the day. Hell yeah. So we're trying to get all the cars running. We got the Boosted Boys coming. We got It's Just a Six coming. Adam might be there. I know Taylor Ray is coming. So we got a whole crew. And James is racing. Leroy and Ruby. Cooper's got the V1 coming. And maybe the wagon too. Well, uh, yeah. Depends on how many cars I get one or the other. Yeah, because we have a lot of cars to bring down there. Neighbor will be there in the burnout pad. The Larsons are bringing jet cars. We got a ton of demolition drag racing cars. But before we end it off, you got one more thing? I wanted to see Neighbor versus Uncle Sam. Brother, bring I it on. That's, that's what we were uh, planning bring on doing for a while. So I think this is finally, finally the time. Okay, we'll see. I'm we'll see if you a car. Too. Listen, if Neighbor survives the the burnout pit because that's his job, then we'll go <laughs> to the drag strip. So I'm down though. All right. Uncle Sam's going to be light work. Got it in the we'll, bag. We'll see that. We'll see about that. <laughs> All right, guys, got to end it off there. Thanks for watching. Do it for Dale. We'll break and see you later. Don't miss Cleese's Cars this Saturday, April 13th at Bradenton Motorsports Park.